Folks, how's it going? This is the Shepherd's Pie. This is the Detroit Become Human press kit. This is the Super Nintendo Mini, which I finally managed to get my hands on, so they do in fact exist. And I, I am your host, Dash V. And this is my What the hell's going on over there? Oh no, but they need to stop. Ah, yeah. Sorry, I tried. My goodness. Sounds like somebody's mowing the lawn over there. Yeah, right? There's laughing out there now. I'm mocking me. <laughs> yeah, I think somebody legit is over there mowing the lawn, aren't they? They really are. And that lawn's not very big. It's like five feet by five feet, but apparently it needs to be mowed four different times already today. Maybe, maybe they're playing tic tac mow instead of mowing the lawn. Maybe they're just like. Maybe wait an hour. By the way, this is a stone IPA. Mm -mm. It's, not, it's not IPA? It's not IPA. <laughs> not. All right. Okay. Hey, Sonia. Yeah, it has been a long time. Uh, oh my god. My goodness. So what's happening? Are you like lifting the window open slightly? No. What is way over there? Kind of far. I'm like ten feet away from the window. So, so what's that? What's that noise? Like suddenly, like I hear nothing, and then it's like really sharp. Oh, that's because they're keep turning the mower uh, on and off on mower on and off. So I don't want. Ah, yeah, okay. like, that's some excellent noise reduction then that, that most of the time it's keeping it at bay. Yeah, right now they got turned off. Oh my goodness. So folks, um, we are going to get to the Detroit Become Human. I, I am going to unbox the press kit, which I am super, super excited about. Uh, we had Tyler Hogle on the show uh, last episode. Uh, Tyler Hogle is the developer of Night Trap and a couple uh, more upcoming games that he has yet to announce. So, um, is it combat? What's that? Is it Ace Combat? No, it's not Ace Combat. But Jeremy, like E3, like, are you hoping to hear Ace Combat news, or have they pretty much destroyed any hopes of that for you already? I'm hoping for Ace Combat Seven news. If there's no Ace Combat Seven news at E3, not me an inkling that tells us anything bad is happening. Do Do you think that maybe we'll see a trailer, or do you really just not know what to expect? I don't know because there hasn't been news since like January at least, like. Nothing is coming out right now from Project Aces. Hmm. So we don't know what's going on. It's supposed to release this year, so it's either a delay, a delay to next year, or it's going to cancel. It. I mean, at, at that point, that's, that's what I'm saying. I don't know. What do you What do you think, folks? Uh, yeah, Sonia. Sonia likes my Cuphead shirt. Cuphead is a great game. So yeah, when I saw this shirt, I had to pick it up. Um, Sonia, what do you think? I, I personally, I don't think I don't think a game title like Ace Combat is going to get canceled i think maybe delayed yes but i don't know i think you're pretty safe on the cancellation this is this is a, a very well-known franchise and a very anticipated game by many i don't think any is as anticipated as as you anticipated but yeah then yeah fallout coming out with a uh, recent um teaser trailer and the rumor mill is this to be an moo this is be an online game and fall is not known for me online it's a single player game yeah so a lot of people are pissed if this is true yeah and I guess... fans are just pissed because it's not Elder Scrolls <laughs> I guess we'll just have to see what what happens there um I guess I could see Fallout being successful uh like a successful MMO franchise yeah um but to your point Maybe they should call it something different. Like maybe maybe they call it something that makes it like, kind of like what they did with Fallout Shelter, right? Yeah. It was clear that Fallout Shelter was part of the Fallout universe, but it wasn't going to be your traditional Fallout experience. They also held it on mobile. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so I, I don't know. Hopefully, like you said, hopefully it's not a bait and switch where people are expecting one experience and they're getting, um, you know, a, a, a different one. We'll, so, we'll find I, out when is Bethesda. Let me check real quick. When is Bethesda? Bethesda is on Sunday at 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Yeah. So I know so, that um, I know that there was uh, some folks uh, that I was following <laughs> on uh, on Twitter. Uh, one of them in in particular. Uh, I'm looking through to see if I could find her exact. I don't want to misattribute this, but one of our followers actually works at a GameStop. And for Fallout 76, which is what you're talking about, right? Correct. For Fallout 76, I guess GameStop has this trailer running on a near endless loop um, that She's plays a song. Country Road, 
take me Oddly home. enough, I got family from West Virginia. My favorite college football team is the Mountaineers, and they play that yeah. song after every victory because of the country road song. She says she cannot stand this song anymore. Like she loved, she liked the song. I don't know if she said that she loved it, but she did used to like the song. But um, she she did say that uh, you know she can she can no longer stand the song, which is kind of unfortunate. I guess it's played that many times. I can't I can't find the exact post. Well, when I used to work for um, supermarket around Christmas time, they played the same five songs, five different you know variants of each song. Yeah. So by the time actually Christmas rolled around, you're ready to shoot yourself. I do have to say though, like when when I walked into a GameStop, um, I bought uh, the Evil Within one and two because they had that cover of Ordinary World. Yeah. Um, and they had a really, I thought, an excellent trailer. Like the the cover of Ordinary World was really good. It was like more of like a dark metal version of it. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, they they cut in like enough. Uh, in there for me to get an idea like wow okay this is this looks like it's an intriguing story right there's a little girl there's a guy i don't know why they're in the underworld or whatever but um it was kind of intriguing to me and parts of the song are sung by the band and then parts of it are sung by it's actually a little boy that sings the the, the part so it's not a even though it's a girl in the trailer the the voice of it's actually a little boy uh, yeah. that's in it. but anyway it was still very compelling right parts of the song sung by the band parts of the song the song sung by a child and then intercut with all these, you know, these images of a, um, of, of a, of this guy trying to like rescue this girl. I don't know if the girl's his daughter. I didn't really. So, so they got me to buy the evil within two for the Xbox one X basically when it came out yes. and I went back and bought the evil within the first one for the Xbox one, because I didn't want to jump right into the, you know, right into the, uh, the franchise cold. Um, but Sonia says that she doesn't. Uh, she doesn't follow. Uh, um, oh, she says she doesn't have the game. Um, but she's uh, in terms of um, Ace Combat. I believe she's talking about. She's not familiar with the Ace Combat game. This is the first time that she's hearing about it. So Jeremy, no, Jeremy, like, how dare you? You're not looking at it the right way, my friend. She oh, okay. didn't know about Ace Combat until you brought it up. So now you have you've shared the the Ace Combat. Um, you know, if you want to get into the franchise, play Ace Combat 04, 5 on, and 0 on PS2. The rest you can skip for now. Just play those three first and go from there. And if so you want to come to my house, you can play on my house. Wise, wise words of Ace Combat from, from Jeremy there. So she did say that she's recently fascinated by Cuphead, um, but she hasn't played it I've actually it yet. never played a game. I don't have it yet. So. so it's a good game. It's a really good game. It's a frustrating game, right? Like, um, yeah, I heard it's hard. Yeah, and in, in, in fact, you know, um, if Cuphead and Mega Man were to get into a fight, um, I'm pretty sure Mega Man would get his ass handed to him. Yeah. So, uh, now, to be clear, I'm not necessarily saying that that means that Cuphead is a better game than Mega Man, right? But I am saying that it is, um, it is definitely, I, I feel like the challenge is way higher than a Mega Man game. Yeah. Well, it's, I heard it's really hard. It's punishingly difficult. So, also punishingly difficult, my friend. So, so hopefully, to your point, hopefully we'll hear more about Fallout seventy six and find out whether this MMO thing is just a, a rumor or if this is really. Well, the rumor supposedly came from Kotaku, and that's all you need to know. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Um, and then uh, also, hopefully, we'll hear some more news on Ace Combat, right? Better. I'm gonna cry. You know yeah, what? Jeremy... Me crying. Nobody, nobody wants to see Jeremy cry. No one wants to see that. So, so what are you looking forward to from E3? Me looking forward to from E3? That's a good question. Um, I'm I'm hoping to hear more about. Um, I don't know if you've heard of the Oculus. Um, what do they call it? The Rift. No, no, not the Oculus Rift. Everybody's heard of that. Uh, I think that it's the Oculus Go. Interesting. Let me see. Is it? Yeah, it is. It's the Oculus Go. And what the Oculus Go is, is it's two and a half K resolution video, um, built in, built in screen. Um, it's a VR headset that's completely wireless and self-contained. So you can download apps directly to the VR unit and play them with the VR unit. All you need is the VR unit and Wi-Fi. That is it. You're good. I don't know about that one. Yeah, it's about 200 bucks. Um, it is. 
it it's a bit limited in that the controller that it comes with is more of like a point and click type of oh, thing. Um, at least I hate the Wii. Yeah, but um, so it doesn't have like the the complex controls that like you can you know double hand the controls and all that other stuff like with the Oculus Rift or the HTC Vive or the PlayStation uh, VR. Um, but it doesn't require a console. It doesn't require a computer. Um, when you set it up, you just pair your phone to it just for the setup, and then you don't even need your phone for it at that point. Um, so it's it's supposed to be a, a an affordable way, two hundred bucks, affordable way for folks to get into vr if they want to kind of test it out it also doesn't have the full six axes of motion so like if you lean forward or lean back or yeah. whatever like it, it doesn't move you forward and back in the 3d space um but if you look around like left right up down all of that works right so um so it doesn't do as much as a as an oculus rift does or an htc vive does um but at 200 bucks in some ways it's better than them it's it's higher resolution than either of those two mentioned things, unless you're talking about the Vive Pro. Um, but it doesn't have the, the range of motion. So it's higher resolution, not tethered, but you don't have the full degree of motion. So I'm excited, um, back to your question, I'm excited at the prospect of E3, maybe HTC, maybe some of these other companies announced competing products that also, I've said it before, I don't have any issues with VR except for the fact that I don't want to be tethered to something and I don't want low resolution displays. Um, I want high resolution displays, right? Near 4k or better. And I want, um, I want it to be a wireless experience. So it yeah. sounds like we're almost there. So I'm actually pretty excited to see potentially more of that be announced or revealed or shown off. So you're saying, would you buy VR within the next two years? If, I, here's what I would say. The go is really close. Like it's tempting, but I don't like some of the compromises that they made to go wireless. Like to me, the whole allure of having wireless is because if you have the six axis, six degrees of motion, it gives you a bit more, um, you know, more freedom, more flexibility. So I, I like the aspect that it's wireless. I like the aspect that it's high resolution. I'm, I'm actually really leaning toward the Vive Pro actually. If I have to go with a wired solution, uh, the Vive Pro, I think, is near 4K. Uh, it's still tethered. It requires a, a fairly heavy-duty uh, computer, uh, and it's it is pretty weighty. But, um, I mean, right now, I think if I was to go VR, that's how I would go. I'd go HTC Vive Pro. And, um, you know, who knows? I, I'm, I'm open, though, that, I mean, if they come out with something more like the Oculus Go, but with a full six axes, you know, shut up and take my money. See, I'm still quite a few away because I'm not willing to make that investment yet. Yeah. Well, I think the Vive, what was really interesting is the fact that they've gotten it at a $200 price point. So I would be really interested to see if the if their comp competition... That's amazing how fast that tech is going, how cheap it's getting already. Mm-hmm. It was like five years ago, it was like $1,000. Now it's like, okay... Right now, it's a reasonable area. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, um, I've kind of teased it a couple of times. I'm going to move my food over here for now. Um, just check the chat to see. My chat window got buried. I apologize. I was looking up the go. So, Sonia, how do you feel about virtual reality? Are you interested in, in VR and virtual reality? Or is it is it still too expensive, not quite your thing? Uh, let us know. Uh, anybody else, hit us up in the chat. You can... you. You too can be like Sonia, right? Talk to us in the chat. So, um, were you familiar with the with the press kit, Jeremy? No, no. When you told me, I was like, "There's a press kit, and we got it somehow." And oh my kit. gosh! So I, I need full disclosure. This was not sent to me. I, I do not. I'm not the kind of guy that has connections inside that can get me these. Shocker! Things. Retro Reload's not that big where we can get this kind of stuff. Unfortunately, hey, if you're watching retro reload and you're a developer and you're just dying to send us some limited edition stuff just because you love us i will drop you my address just hit me down the doodly doo and we will hook up and make that happen but uh until such time as as i make those kind of friends i had to i found this on ebay i was literally uh searching ebay daily uh for this to show up another one showed up and it sold and that one was on a buy it now for like 400 bucks which was too much yeah. for me yeah, that was that was too much for me. But this one, this one actually was um I'm not gonna say what this one was. Um Jackson the first. 
It was less than four hundred bucks, but it's definitely more than I probably was it ought to have originally dollars. paid for it. It was not five dollars. So that's it. Was that more than five dollars? It was more than five dollars. So yeah, somewhere like between five dollars, greater than five dollars, but less than four hundred. Actually, folks, if you want to guess in the chat, if somebody can guess the uh, the the amount that I actually paid for this, you get one guess, only one guess, and it has to be while we're live. So if you come in while we're live, and you guess here in the chat, and you get it right, um, I'll send you some something kind of neat. I I'll love to guess. I'll figure something else. So, am I allowed to guess? You're allowed to guess. What's your guess? Well, give me a few seconds. No, you <laughs> can't look it up on. You can't look it up on eBay. I was talking about. I'm, I'm <laughs> Jeremy's Jeremy's banned from guessing now. Damn it! Jeremy's a cheater. I don't know how I'm cheating. So. Really cool. I, I really wish that they did a proper limited edition of this. They did like a digital limited edition. A digital limited edition, which came with a whole bunch of stuff. Um, but it was all digital stuff, like a desktop, a wallpaper. You get Beyond Two Souls and Heavy Rain um, digital downloads. So, I mean, not a bad deal, but I want physical stuff to put on my shelf and show off. So... Uh, in Japan, they did come out with a actual physical limited edition, but for some reason in the U.S., they didn't do that. So this press kit actually got shipped to me from Poland. There's only about 2,000 of them. I can see the price you paid. <laughs> there, there's about 2,000 of these known to exist, right? And uh, so the top kind of comes off. Like this. I'm going to hold it very, very carefully. Let me see if I can aim the camera down a little bit more. Oh, my. Oh, yeah. All right. Check your phone. Oh, come on. Hang on a second. Give me just a minute. Okay, there we go. There we go. Now you can see kind of good. Let me see. Check my phone. Oh, actually, my phone's downstairs charging, my friend. Well, well, I'll put a chat for our chat. All right. So, so this is kind of neat. We got Kara's over here. Here, check the chat. Right? Yeah, that's pretty much what I paid. Yep. I want my prize. So, no, you cheated. You can't look it up on eBay. I don't know what you're um, talking about. So, Marcus, there's Marcus, right? And there is Connor. Who's your favorite? So who's my favorite? My favorite would have to be, um, I'm going to say Connor. Yeah, Connor's my favorite too. Yeah. By the way, the other night, I let Brittany play, and she kept killing Connor. <laughs> talking about you. I know you're watching right now. Keep talking killing yeah. Connor. Let me see. Actually, you know, the actor that plays as Connor is really, really active on Twitter. Um, they're doing multiple game streams. I'll put links to the game streams and stuff down in the doodly do so you guys can check it out. But they're doing multiple game streams. Uh, he went into a, a retro game store um, and he bought three copies of Detroit, signed them. Um, Tracy from the game, the uh, Tracy from the um, from the um, the, uh, the 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 sex uh, place oh, there, God. right? Whatever the you know what I'm talking about? No. Are you talking about a game or are you talking about in, my in, house? The, in the game? There's a sex club oh, that you go to, yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's I didn't a, about your house. I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. Man. No, no, there, in the game, there's a sex club that you have to go to to investigate a murder. And, a um, and one of the one of the uh androids in there is actually his um fiance in real life. Gotcha. So the one that plays Tracy is actually his fiance in real life. So, so Brian is the actor's real name. Uh, that plays Connor. Brian and his his uh, fiance went into this game place. They bought three games, signed them, and they were giving them away to people on their live stream, which was pretty cool. I thought so. Um, so you can you can check that out. I'll include his Twitter details uh, later if you want to follow him and and do that. They've been doing a couple of uh, a couple of uh, try to get him on the show next time. streams and things like that. Oh yeah, I don't. Unfortunately, I don't know if we can reach him. I think he's too famous for us. So I'm gonna try to hide. I don't know, man. Card. We've had some pretty big people on the show before. The card has a. It, it, it comes with a card, but the card has a digital code. So let me see if I can. Let me see if I can. Uh, 
me see what I can do here. So it comes with a card that's kind of neat, like a Cyber Life swipey badge card thing. What's the code um, say? Ask and it has a digital back. code. Yeah, the code that I'm not showing says... <laughs> But um, yeah, it kind of folds down in this in this way, um, and then to the side you have the card that sits here with the digital download code. I think it's already used. Even I didn't even bother because I have the I have the game in physical, um, which for folks that don't know, the um, the cover is reversible. Oh, so I've actually reversed it because I like this much better. I like being able to see all of my protagonists all at the same time. Oh, you're right. So that's a that's a nice little a life hack for those of you that didn't notice it. The uh, no, you should make a ten minute YouTube video about that. I know, right? Like I'll I'll do a I'll do a um what do they call it a um what what is that I fix it or whatever they have that yeah. website where you can teach people instructable. I'll make an instructable on how to do it. So this is kind of neat. You open this up and there's quite a few things in here actually. Um, there is an art book. If I can get it out of there so there is a there is an art book and i think actually i'm gonna have to contact the uh the shipper because i think that there's actually something potentially missing from here but we'll see um oh, yeah no, it's not. It's not. um it Real comes nice with it. some temporary tattoos are you putting them on and they're, L they're LED tattoos. You know what? Part of me wants to, but oops. Yeah, part of me wants to, but no. The collector in me will never let that happen. Now, so, if someone so. out there has another one they want to give us for free, we'll put them on. <laughs> Chris is like, I don't know about that, Jeremy. Yeah. So, um, the art book actually has some really interesting things uh, in it. I, I went through the art book quite a bit. It's actually got a couple different variants of the uh, the original characters. Let's see if I could find one of them for you. For example, um, so here's some concepts. One of the things that I thought was kind of neat is that, um, like, normally you'd see an art book where, um, you know, you see, like, early drawings of the characters or whatnot. In this one, you actually see the artwork Right, the concept artwork is the actors dressed up like the characters that the digital renders are based on. That's cool. So yeah, that I thought that that was a really interesting touch. Um, this obviously being the uh, being the the home that you walk into in the opening scene with the um, oh, uh, with the murder. Okay. So this is uh, this is Alice and Kara. Weston, you go save. Just saying. So, um, let's see. This is uh, Leo and Carl. So Carl and his his son there. There's quite a few uh, quite a few things in here. Um, one of them in particular I thought was pretty interesting. Let me see if I can go to. Uh, this one was interesting. This guy is called Ralph. And uh, for some reason, his face has been blocked out. So it must be that they did not get the rights to, to use him. I don't know if that's an unused character or an unfinished concept. Um, some of this other stuff's a little spoilery, so I'm not going to show it. Um, Hank, man. Hank, the, the actor that played Hank, I thought, did a really, really good job. The way that Hank and Connor kind of play off of each other, I yes. thought was just very expertly done. Um, let me see. There's one more. There's one more that I really want to show you. There's a, a one character that is actually. Uh, one character in particular where they actually deviated quite far from the original concept art um Marcus. no actually amanda um amanda is the woman that you meet when connor files his reports yes that's quite different than the woman that you see isn't it it's really blurred for me i have to go back there and check it out uh, even even with the blurriness, you should be able to tell that this is a white woman. 
Yeah, it's extremely yeah. blurry. Uh, okay. All right. Well, um, so yeah, um, the actress, uh, at least who they have here in the concept art, they're showing Amanda uh, with a, a, a white woman, but in the game, it's actually uh, it's actually a, a, a black woman. So it's interesting. I don't know why that is in the art book. I don't know if it was just, um, you know, rights issues or something of maybe not, or, or if it was, if they changed that character later in the game. Um, but I thought that, that was kind of interesting. So that's that's part of what's in the art book. I didn't show everything, um, but uh, some really really nice. Uh, it's a nice art book. I'm glad that I that I have the art book there. Um, but the other part of it. So they have this. I'm not really sure what this is, Jeremy. What do you think this is? Looks like a band for your wrist. It, it's too big to be a wristband. Right, it, it could be maybe for that sex club. Maybe it's like a bondage band or something. I don't know. What? <laughs> I don't think that's what it is. Unless it's like a bicep one. Okay, bicep. Right, it could be like maybe you work out or something. Um, no, I don't know. Maybe it's like a choker. I'm, I'm not. I don't. I have no idea. I'm just making stuff up. Uh, there's a really nice. I like how they have a really nice Chloe uh, in here when you open this up. A little hello. They they do I this as if you got this from Cyber Life. Like advertising their robots. Yeah. And everything. Have you beat the game yet, by the way? Yes, I have. I've beaten the game a handful of times. How do you feel at the very, very ending when uh, you get a certain option? Uh, I I chose poorly. <laughs> I didn't think it would be permanent. Yeah, I regret so my decision too. I'm I'm hoping that they patch in it not being so permanent. Um, but uh, what's really nice is there there's a, a poster that's kind of a flow chart here of uh well the, it's a couple things really nice they have a poster here that's the um actual actors in the game posed cool. which is pretty neat uh the back of it is actually a flow chart of the hostage negotiation so okay, any like are, game. yeah any any of you who are maybe still having trouble figuring out what to do how to do it um or what all the different possibilities are it shows you them all right there uh, and then everything else here is kind of like uh, they do it kind of like little flyers. So about the game and they give you general information about the game, which is kind of neat. Here's a uh, an advertisement for the Connor model Android and all the details about him. Uh, here we have Kara and all of her details. We've got uh, Marcus and his details. And then the rest of these are just kind of miscellaneous artwork and different uh, details, different scenes from the game and things like that. Um, so, yeah. And, and I want to be clear, like all this that you're seeing right here, this is not like conceptual artwork that you're seeing right here. These are actual like screen grabs from the game that they're showing you here. Like the game really does look that good, um, especially on the PlayStation 4 Pro. It's, it's pretty amazing. Uh, how this game looks on the pro so um so yeah so that my friends that is the press kit for detroit uh become human personally i think that it was this is a hell of a way to kind of drum up interest in the game um i feel like it was kind of a mistake to not have some kind of special edition in uh in america for it um, I'm saying that obviously as like a gamer and a collector, uh, Quantic Dream maybe knew, you know, Qu Quantic Dream, I assume, knows their audience and probably knew, you know, whether or not it was going to be cost effective for them to produce a, you know, uh, a, a, a proper um, edition. collector's edition. So I'm not criticizing them. I'm just more lamenting. It would have been really nice to be able to get a package, something like this. Uh, for cheaper than what I had to score it for on eBay. I'm definitely glad that I got it. I don't have any any regrets or buyer's remorse. Um, but I am kind of uh, saddened that um, this was so well done. I'm just saddened that there's going to be so few of them out there in, in existence, in circulation. So if they get lost, you know, or, or damaged or thrown away or whatever, that's it. They're done. Right? Yeah. So, um so congratulations. Somebody managed to make something more rare 
and difficult to find than an SNES Mini. <laughs> which, which, as you can see, I happen to find. Um, I actually got this one also. Two, two miracles with this, actually, Jeremy. Two miracles yes. with this. So miracle number one is I found one. Miracle number two was it was on eBay and it was only $85. Only $85. $85 with free shipping. The retail price of this is $80. Oh, it's cheaper than that. So 80 bucks plus, no, 80 bucks plus 50 bucks or plus five bucks shipping. That's actually not too bad, right? Was it buy it now or did you just happen to get the right bid? It, no, it was buy it now. They made a mistake. They make no money off that. It, it was it was buy it now. The only bummer is they threw it in a bubble mailer, so when it came, the box is all like you thirty five dollars. You can't complain though. Yeah, I, hey, I got one. My wife was looking at this, going, "Wow, this is amazing. There's a lot of really great games here. How come we didn't get one of these sooner?" I'm like, "Shut up." <laughs> it was two hundred dollars. You have no idea. That's because I wasn't gonna pay two hundred dollars for, you know, a bunch of. Nintendo games that I already Super Nintendo games that I already have in physical copy. I can make it easier, cheaper for Retro Pie. I know. Not so just so you break them. So, um, other stuff I'd like to see to answer your earlier question. Other stuff I'd like to see at uh, E3. I wouldn't mind hearing like um, Sega. Lizzie Hedgehog actually gave us a heads up in private message uh, that there's a Sega Mega Drive 30th and 20th anniversary website being launched um, by by Sega. So um, it kind of celebrates the Mega Drive's 30th and Dreamcast's 20th anniversaries. The website will be gradually updated with various information related to the two systems. Um, what would be really, really interesting to me is if, uh, is if this maybe was an indicator. Uh, it says right now, currently Sega has announced plans to release a Mega Drive mini console as well as several Mega Drive titles for the Switch via the Nintendo eShop this summer as part of the Sega Ages collection. I think that part we already knew. Um, what would be nice, though, is if maybe this is a hint that, uh, you know, maybe we're going to see a Dreamcast Mini. That would be kind of cool. Interesting. I'd be so, too soon for a Dreamcast Mini. So maybe they'll announce a Dreamcast Mini at the at E3. That would be kind of neat. I'd be I'd be on board with that. Is Sega even there? Let's see. Oh, I'm not really sure. So oh, I don't really do have it. two big expectations for E3. Honestly. Yeah, I think E3 is pretty slow this year. Usually I'm fairly excited for E3, but it's like, you know, besides it's combat, which is where I got news, bottles will probably be a disappointment. Battlefield and Call of Duty look disappointing. It's a hot man. I gotta be, it's hard to follow up with um, the Xbox One X just announcements and hype cycle last year was yeah. intense and awesome. And the console so far has completely lived up to its, to, to the hype. As far as I'm concerned, actually, I actually own one having actually gamed on it on a 4k HDR TV. The games look and play amazing. Um, in fact, I only bought a PS4 pro because having the Xbox one X was such a Delta, uh, between that and the PS4. I didn't want to be playing PS4 games anymore unless it was on the pro. Like I didn't want to settle for choppy frame rates. I didn't want to settle for lower <laughs> resolution graphics. If there were higher resolution options available, I did not buy the PlayStation four pro because I hoped it would measure up to the Xbox one X. I got the PlayStation four pro because I was hoping it wouldn't be left too far behind the Xbox one X in quality. And for games like Detroit become human, absolutely glad that I made the investment. It looks fantastic. So, so yeah, I'm, I'm kind of in this, I don't know, Jeremy, I'm in this weird state where like, I don't really want or demand anything more from, yeah. from me. Like, like right now I'm good. Like I've beaten Detroit twice, still did not get the ending that I wanted. So I'm going to be playing through it again, uh, to see if I can get a better ending. Yeah. I still need to go back and like do every possible thing you do in a tight game. It's going to take forever. Now, the first time, you mentioned this last episode, the first time Tara actually died very early on in the game for you, right? Yes, and I never got a chance to use her again. So That's now you're playing through again. How how are, Have you gotten a significant way the, through the game with her? Nah, I've been kind of busy. Like, I got to the part where, spoiler alert, you got to find where to sleep, and that's the extent of me playing with her again. 
Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Well, I'm excited to see what you think of her extended storyline. Personally, I didn't see enough Kara in the game. Like, I was hoping to see a lot more since her yeah. original E3 demo was, like, the catalyst for the game even existing. Uh, her, her E3 tech demo. So, I was a little disappointed there wasn't more Kara. But, to be clear, I, I'm not disappointed in the game at all. Like, I really yes. love the game. The game's a great game. I just, I do wish that I'd seen more, a longer extended Kara sequence. Now, going back through and playing this game a couple of times, maybe it's just all down to the choices I made. Maybe there are choices I could have made differently. That, There's a lot you know, of choices, so you never know. Yeah. So I already, we already beat it in such a way that we completely sent Marcus's storyline and completely sent Connor's storyline in completely different directions, both yeah. of our playthroughs. And that was actually amazing. And it looks like there's hints that there's, yet a third way that things actually could have gone uh, with Connor's character. So I'm super excited to, uh, to, to see that. Yeah. It's an interesting game. I'll definitely suggest it. It's definitely worth the $60 plus tax. So is there anything else that you're hoping to see from E3, my friend, uh, like besides said, Ace Combat or is that it? Ace Combat is really uh, like busy as hell lately. So I have probably time to game, but still make time for E3. See if anything, Fancy's my interest because last year was Become Human. So when I first saw it, I'm like, okay, that's the game I got to get. Now it just came out, so we'll see. Oh, yeah. Either okay. always has surprises. So, speaking of always having surprises, did, did you have any pickups recently? We just showed mine, too. Yeah, I Nothing? Let's work and everything. I'm just doing that shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, Folks have been watching for a while. You know, this is this is actually pretty great. Jeremy, your life has been completely, you know, Changed. completely completely transformed, my friend. Just a little bit. Do you want to give people a, a recap of um not you don't have to tell them everything right. about your life, but in particular, right? Like um folks watching that maybe haven't watched for like a year or whatever may not even recognize that you're the same Jeremy. So last April I was four hundred and fifty pounds. Since then, I've lost 250 pounds, got a job, and living the life. That is amazing. The transformation is absolutely amazing, my friend. Thank you. So, any tips for somebody that maybe is trying to make a similar transformation and struggling? If you really, truly, truly want to lose weight, you'll be dedicated. You can't say, oh, you know, I'll occasionally eat healthy once in a while. No. You have to go balls to walls. You got to be willing to pass up every junk food, every energy drink, every soda. You got to want to lose weight more than you want to eat. eat junk food. Wow. And as you say that, I'm digging into a shepherd's pie. Exactly. So, um, so let me, let me ask you a question. What, what was the diet that you were on? Like while you were doing it, like what, uh, what would be a normal day of eating for you? Well, it was the most healthy way to do it. It was rapid weight loss, but pretty much it was chicken and veggies for 10 straight months. That's all I ate. Grilled chicken and grilled veggies. Oh, wow. No soda. I quit drinking for a while there. No coffee. No processed foods. Are you sick no. of chicken now? Yeah. I still eat it, though. I'm sick of it. And um, my girlfriend's like, you're not allowed to die like that again. She, she would kill me if I did what I did last time. Oh, man. She really told me that. The girlfriend's a relatively new addition too, right? I mean, new as in yeah. this year, right? Yes. Started dating in January. Recently made official. Things are going good. We're going to again tomorrow. Did she see? Did she see pictures of what you looked like before? Yeah, she tell them. Text her. Real quick. Has, has she? What did? Did you guys talk at all about like? You ever, you ever have pillow talk? Like, honey, if I look like this again, would you stay stay with me? I hope she would say something. Yeah, she tells me, though, she occasionally goes back to my old Facebook posts and old Facebook groups, and she's like, I don't believe that's you. That really doesn't look at you at all, because, you know, she met me, I thought I all the way. Right, right. These these pictures are clearly Photoshopped. Yeah, she's like, I can't believe that's you. And she tells her, you know, friends and family, like, he's a big guy. <laughs> well, you know, you still got a big heart, my friend. Yeah, I try. So so the, the body might have shrunk, but the heart is just as big as it's ever been. We're recently at her cousin's house, and she, her cousin recently had a baby about six months ago. Yeah. And she was mad because the baby loved me. Kids love me for some reason. She says, like, 
something about him and uh, kids and animals just love him. They, they're attracted. You know, they want to be with him. The whole time I was holding baby cubs, and baby cubs was all happy. And after we left, the baby like knocked out like right away. It was pretty funny. Oh wow! Oh wow! So speaking of something that's not going to be knocked out right away. Nintendo actually, and we missed this because this happened. This was announced a couple of weeks ago. You heard about how Nintendo is actually going to be handling uh, their their retro games, right? And come September. No, do tell. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Let me um, Nintendo Switch, um, virtual console. Let me see. So, this is from a, an article in Forbes, actually. So, um, Ollie Barter actually uh, wrote this article. So, full attribution there. Um, they're going to actually, they're not bringing back the virtual console in the way that, that we would typically know about it from like the, the Wii or the, the Switch, or, or I'm sorry, the Wii or the Wii U. Um, what they're actually doing, give me just one second. My camera got weird on the focus. There we go. So, what they're actually doing is, um, they're making it be a online service, kind of like PlayStation Plus, kind of like the Xbox Games Pass, where you have to get a monthly subscription. And when you pay that monthly subscription, um, you can download some NES games and uh -huh. you can play those games either solo or multiplayer with other people online. And so some of the initial games that they're going to be doing are going to be soccer, tennis, Donkey Kong, Mario Brothers, Super Mario Brothers, Balloon Fight, Ice Climber, Dr. Mario, Legend of Zelda, and Super Mario Brothers 3. Um, so it, it, if you'll notice, a lot of those games, um, almost all those games except for The Legend of Zelda, uh, are actually multiplayer games. So you can't play by yourself. It's going to force you to play multiplayer. It doesn't. It doesn't say that it's going to force it, but it definitely does look like they're leaning more toward. You'll notice some games there that are conspicuously absent. Games like the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Games like Metroid. Games like Super Mario Brothers Two. Right? Brittany just texted me because she heard what we said, and she says that's not you. Talk about my old pictures. It is totally Brittany. That is a hundred percent him. I can totally. I can totally testify. It is not photoshopped. So yeah, um, back to the the, the Nintendo uh, Switch online service. Um, Super Mario Two is missing. Metroid is missing. Uh, Kirby games missing. Um, so it looks like certainly their focus is multiplayer. Um, but uh, you know, it 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 seems like okay, being able to play on the Switch, there are retro games. Great, love the idea. Um, I've obviously wanted that since day one. Um, being able to, um, you know, being able to 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 play multiplayer with other folks online if they're in my friends list, also good. I'm fine with that. Uh, I am a little bit concerned if they only focus on the games first that have all the multiplayer component, and I am concerned with the, um, you know, how much does this subscription cost? Um, how long do the games last? Are are they gonna? Continue having those like once the game. I doubt it's there, probably one of those. It's for the month, and they'll kill them. In. That would you know? that would piss me off so much. Like I don't want to like play Mario three, get halfway through, and then have it not be on there anymore. Right? Yeah, Mario three's kind of a long game, especially when you're working. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm not hating on it yet. Um, I, I would rather have the games on there in some form than not on there at all. I'm just hoping to your point. I'm hoping it's not like oh Mario three and Mario one available this month. And then, like the next month, it's some other random assortment of games, and that that would be. What's going to happen in the first few months are going to be really good games. After about six months of the year, they're going to sputter off and just bunch of shit games. Yeah, you're going to end up with like Doctor Jekyll and Mister Hyde and things like that, right? <laughs> it's like a lot of paying fifty bucks a month for this. They're playing games, shitty games. Exactly. Yeah, we don't know if it's fifty bucks. Yeah, it doesn't say. It doesn't look here like they talked about prices, at least in the Forbes the Forbes article they didn't mention the prices. So that we don't know. So I, I don't know. I'm, I'm cautiously optimistic. If they're going to keep the library established, um, then I think that that's that that'll be good. It's if Nintendo, there's a way for you to buy, it's Nintendo. 
Well, I mean, I wouldn't mind if they said free for this, like something like Pinball Arcade, right? Like free for this month are the following games. And then if you want to keep them around, right, pay like $2 yeah. or $3 or whatever. Like that, I'd be totally fine with that. It's, it's not going to happen either. It's Nintendo. Guarantee it's like Yeah, I know, but, I know. I'm trying to be optimistic, but you're, yeah, you're hitting me with realism. Yeah, I'm pretty right. pessimistic if you have noticed. <laughs> wow. So, Come on. You're coming out this, more, more close to home, though, is coming out this month. Right? Is they're going to be relaunching the original, not this one, but the original NES Mini? They're going to be relaunching that uh, this this month. So um, you have another opportunity to get your hands on it, um, or to you know piss and moan about scalpers ruining the gaming. That's going to be scalpers again. Unless they do like millions of them. I'm um, I'm hoping not. I hope that they just flood the market with these things. And Once again, available. So Nintendo. You so, think a big company like Nintendo wouldn't have that issue? But they do. Yeah, I'm hoping maybe Nintendo does something around E3. Like they they generally don't do the E3 thing, but they'll do their own thing during the same time as E3. I'm hoping that if they do something like that um, this year, that maybe we hear something about an N64 Mini or a Game Boy Mini. That oh would be God, kind of N64 cool. Mini, I have to buy it. Uh, okay, I'm gonna fail. But... Yeah, so yeah, an N64 console. Mini, or a, if if they announced an N64 Mini, which game would you like to see them announce with? What what would be your oh, ideal game list? Okay. That'd be really hard. Golden Eye, obviously, but they're not going to get yeah. that because I think um, Microsoft owns their winner, their library. Tony Hawk, the first one. Perfect Dark, but that's another rare game, so that's Microsoft. Oh, there's so many. Superman, obviously. Can't forget Superman. Let's see, Akinara Time. Uh, Majora's Mask. Hmm. Smash Brothers. Mario 64. The classics, you know? That's that's just yeah. something I think is on my head. There's a lot, I'm sure. So what about what about games like Star Fox 64? I've actually played Star Fox 64 once in my life. Oh. Okay. As a friend's house. I mean, Mario yeah. F- Mario Party. Mario Kart. Mario Kart. There was a big bad 64 version. It used to irritate the shit out of me. What about Mega Man 64? Did you ever play that? Oh, never been a big Mega, Mega Man fan. Yeah, shoot me now. Not big no, Mega that's Man okay. Fan. It's not for everybody. It's definitely not for everybody. Right, say, Chris. She can't say I suck at Mega Man games, but it's true. <laughs> I, 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 that was my diplomatic way of saying not everybody's good at games. I'm not saying you suck at Mega Man games, Jeremy, <laughs> but you probably suck at Mega Man games. So, so there you have it, folks. That's uh, the Tro- Detroit Become Human unboxing. That's some of our most recent pickups, some of the latest news, um, and what we're hoping to see for, for E3. And really not another E3 year. schedule. Let me pull it up real quick. Yeah, yeah. What, what's So what? Saturday, June 9th at 10.30 a.m. It's EA. So it's going to be your classic stuff, your Battlefield, your sports games, your racing games. Nothing interesting. Then Sunday, you got Microsoft at 12.30 the Bethesda at 6 p.m. Now, it's all Pacific Center time for me and Chris are on the West Coast. Okay, wait, is that pretty sure? No. That's right. Okay, I don't want to get two times here. I'm so, really looking forward to Microsoft, actually. I'm, I'm hoping that they're going to announce some... Uh, I'm hoping that they're going to announce some new uh, some new stuff for Xbox. Then, um, Monday, June 11th, Square Enix at 10 a.m. I'll skip it because I don't care about Square Enix. Mm, no, no. Oh, I'm gonna watch a little bit. Two things about Square: the new Tomb Raider game. Don't care. And hopefully, well, three things actually: new Tomb Raider game, Final Fantasy VII. Don't care. And Kingdom Hearts three. Don't care. <laughs> That's just me though. Uh, also, Ubisoft at one p.m. So more classic stuff. Sorry, girlfriend took me. Uh, PC gaming show at three p.m. Once again, I don't care. Then Sony at 6 p.m. Then Tuesday is Nintendo at 9 a.m. So that sucks. 9 a.m. You'll be at work. You'll be up there, though. Yeah, I don't know. Like it's weird. Like I'm actually not looking forward to anything from Sony. Like which is not. Woo! I know. Show. I know. Go. Don't take that. Oh, okay, sorry. Don't take that as hate against Sony. I have no you hate know, against Sony. Uh, but Sony show give me Ace Combat. I'm really gonna hate you because you just said you don't care about Sony. No, no, no. I want to be clear. What I'm saying is, I there's nothing that I'm really I'm not listening, like. Chris, I'm not listening. There's nothing I'm dying to see come from Sony. 
like, like, them, I'm, so like, like I'm not excited this year, which is shocker because like most people are like, oh, I'm excited for Comic Con or all these other shows. Like, no, I'm excited for E3. That's yeah. that's my favorite time of year. This year, it's like because I'm busy all the time now. Yeah, it's like all I want to see is Ace Combat. Just give me Ace Combat news. Despite somebody, I'm not gonna say her name, saying it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. They're gonna cancel it. She actually <laughs> hurt me. She actually hurt me emotionally. Well, you and, know. You know, I say, hey, uh, when that game comes out, I need a month off. She says, I can't take the month off. <laughs> wow, a whole month without me, it's a big deal. Tell, tell, them, tell them that you sprained your uterus. Huh? Tell them that you sprained your uterus okay. and it needs to heal. And she's, she's watching the show, and she says, yes, she would kick my butt if I dropped my calories. Because I Cali crashed there for a while. I'm going to say how many calories I eat a day, but it wasn't healthy. How many? How many what? I, I used to eat really low calories. I'll tell you later how many there were. Ah, okay. I'm not going to say on the show because I'm not going to uh, advocate for it because it's highly dangerous what I did. Mm-hmm. Ah, okay. But yeah, she said I'm not going to go missing when these comic comes out. Yeah. Actually, is that just a month? My goodness. <laughs> so what did your wife think of um, Detroit becoming a My wife loves it, actually. When we play the game, we take turns. So I'll play yeah. a couple scenes. She no, play a couple we, scenes. We tried that, but then she hopped the game. Because <laughs> she texted me like the night before. Oh, we so the first turns. time, the first time that we finished the game, my wife uh, was playing, and Connor died, and Marcus died, and and then everyone else ended. Up, she killed everybody basically. That's what Brittany did. She killed fucking Marcus, or not Mark. Well, she did. I think she killed Marcus once. She killed yeah. um, Connor like three times. Yeah. Like so then, from Connor. So then so then she hands it to me and I go back to I go back to just before Connor died, right? And um I well, first I make a different choice for Marcus than what she made. Um which put him on a path that was not it still didn't guarantee that Marcus lived, but it made it easier to keep him alive. Um and then I and then I, I I played the Connor character better than she did. She died in the combat scene whoa, with Connor. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's not say you did better. You alternatively played a different route than her. No, no. I, I played the same route as her, but there's a combat scene in that route. I'm going to tell She tell failed. Her. I remember on Facebook. So I'm gonna tell she, her. Failed, she failed the combat scene. I did not fail the combat scene. I'm going to tell her right now what you're saying. It was literally, I, I played it better but but that's not a judgment call i'm not saying that she's you know a bad gamer um hey, but i got her just, on my friend list just saying i had the benefit of having watched what happened with her and so i i kind of was able to go in there and play plus i i have a little bit faster reflexes for that kind of stuff so um so anyway um but then there was follow-up stuff that happened with connor that neither of us was really prepared for and i happened to make it through like there was a couple times in there i thought i lost connor and i didn't um, and I'm not okay, going to give favorite any details. All time. What's that? What was your favorite level of all? Like, what um, chapter? Mine was my the favorite. interrogation. The first one, interrogation, were my favorite. On the roof? Yeah, on the roof and uh, the interrogation. Because the interrogation shocked me the first time I played. Yeah, That's it what happened. Hands down, the interrogation. Yeah, I agree. The only, the only, and, and this is amazing given the fact that, well, like, when I saw the demo, or when I saw the E3 trailer that showed the interrogation, from that moment, I wanted the game. Yeah. So my only complaint was that they showed literally everything about that. And so oh, when they released place. it as the demo, I basically had already seen everything. But that didn't stop me from playing the demo all the way until I'd, I'd done every single thing and unlocked everything on the flowchart. Um, now that I have the game, um, it was still pretty good. Um, but I'm kind of desensitized to that scene now. So, so my second favorite scene that I'll give you, but it, it still is my favorite scene. That's how well done it is. Um, let's see, my second favorite scene. Mine will be okay after interrogation and rooftop. Mine's with Hank at the end. Any decision from there. For the first time I fucked up and I got really sad. So I had to go back and redeem myself. Ah, okay. I haven't. So I, I'm. Yeah, my situation with Hank has left me sad as well. <laughs> so, so I you must didn't propose to him in the game. No, I didn't. There was no bromance going on there. Oh, no, I like was. I was a bit extra there for a minute. Uh, okay, I got it. I got it. My second favorite scene, and it's Is not the, the <laughs> it's not the entire scene that's my favorite. 
but it's actually oh oh I guess I have two I have two favorite scenes two two second favorite scenes one of them is and I'm I, neither one of us can give any details on this because I'm going to try to stay fairly spoiler free but the scene with Chloe and Connor that was good that I was friggin intense that was that was actually to, for me and my wife chat what you did type in the chat what you did i'll type my answer so, <laughs> i'll tell you i'll tell you after the show um okay but yeah i i i um i took that, to the bedroom spoiler <laughs> that that was an intense scene um with with connor and chloe so um just as intense i felt as the rooftop um if not more intense in some ways my um, one friend, you want to play it now. It's like, it's not your game, man, because like, he likes those action-packed games. Yeah. I'm like, you don't really, I mean, you do have action, but it's not the type of It's not the same action, no. Yeah, it's like, you know, it's kind of more decision-based making, storyline driven, which I like. Yeah, yeah. But a lot of people are shocked. They're like, oh, you seem like a meathead. I'm like, oh, yeah. It's like, I, I like that kind of stuff. It's interesting. <laughs> you can call me so, a fucking meathead. I don't hey. think you need Phase Brazer three. Hi, how you doing? Have you? Uh, I just want to. I want to know, Phase. Uh, have you been playing Detroit Become Human? What do you think about it? So, um, let us know in the let us know in the chat. If you share your comments before we close down the show, I'll uh, I'll share them. Yeah, I'm gonna actually fire up a. Uh, I'm gonna fire up one of the studio lights because I noticed that the uh, the sun has been setting, so my video quality has been degrading. Um, also, Phase what. Are you looking forward to it at E three? Whose showcase are you really looking forward to? Yeah, Faye, you, you looking forward to something at E three? Let us let us know. Um, so my so the 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 Connor and Chloe scene, uh, I thought was really good, really well done. Um, I I feel like I have to go back and play that opposite of how I played it originally, mainly because okay. it looks like the story takes very different directions. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and there's, there's clues that I'd collected earlier. There's a storyline earlier that just kind of like got dropped because of what happened with Hank and Connor's relationship after that scene, um, that I feel like I need to go back and make different choices to, to see, I want to see the conclusion of that investigation, uh, and how it, how it goes. So, um, so I thought that that was a really interesting, uh, situation and choice that they put forward that you had to make um the other one has to be guessing hank's password <laughs> i got that right right away <laughs> oh my lord I, it, it took me like five it took me five seconds to guess that password like like i don't mean literal five seconds i mean like like the screen Sorry, renders i look place. i'm like how the hell am i gonna oh that's definitely it <laughs> It, it's it, like I love Connor, by the way, girls. Like, how the hell? How am I gonna? How am I gonna guess what his password? Oh, okay, that's obviously got to be his password. Um, so I like comedy wise, that was like a. There's been several times where the game uh, shocked me. There's been several times where the game made me laugh. This this was one of those. I actually had to pause the game to to let me get all the laughing out of my system before I could actually resume playing. Cause you're kind of under like a deadline, right? Like a time loop. Yeah. Like there's, this, there's, there's things and happening. I know like, cause not all your options are time-based. Everyone that was time-based was when I was paying attention to the TV. Like, <laughs> on the phone or someone's talking to me. I'm like, oh shit. Yeah. So lots of moments in that game. Overall, I really enjoyed the entire experience. Um, Question, if you made a second one, would you buy? I would say, you know, you're gonna make a second one because it was pretty successful. It, well, I don't know. I mean, Heavy Rain was successful, wasn't it? I thought they had two Heavy Rains. No. Yeah, they do. No, they don't. There's, sure. one there's, there's a Heavy there. Rain too. I don't think there is a Heavy Rain too, my friend. Or there's one that's like almost like. Let's see. There's Heavy Rain, and then there's Beyond Two Souls. Yeah, Cage explains why he won't make Heavy Rain too. Okay. I could have sworn to say that's right, heavy rain. Sorry. A lot of games out there for me to remember. I'm old. I'm almost 30. Oh, got this connection? No. I don't think there's a heavy rain too. No, there's a whole there. bunch of fake trailers for it. I could have sworn made a second one. No, a lot of people wanted it, but I don't think that there was one. Um, same thing with Beyond Two Souls. There's not a Beyond Two Souls 2. So but I don't know. Part of me 
the world is established so well. Like, like literally when you s- sit down and start playing the game, it's like you're entering, it's like you're going into the future and, and you're entering this world and you're seeing this world um, and interacting with this world. And so I, I, I'm sad, even with a happy ending, I'm sad to leave the world. But at the same time, I feel like it'd be really hard to make a sequel to the game. Because which continuity do you pick? So the only way that I could see them doing it is if they did a like a Detroit Become Human 2. Like if if they picked up with different characters. Like entirely. Yeah. They just picked different androids and they told a different story. Um, within the same world, within the same... They could either do it before Detroit happens or they could do it after Detroit. I mean, they could do that. They could do a prequel that's before Detroit happened. Right? I should have something. But... So when that uh, teaser trailer for Fallout got released, yeah, the uh, not the trailer, but um, a, a day before, you know, on Twitch, like having uh, the bobblehead in the background. So two people on the Reddit Fallout said, one guy said, "I'll eat a shoe if it's not a Fallout Three remaster." Another guy said something similar, but he'd drink a Fallout salsa. So when it didn't happen, the mods in that forum said, "If you guys don't show a video, you're actually doing it. We're permabanning you guys from the fucking sub forum." So I didn't go back to see if they did it because I didn't care that much. But I was thinking, let's make predictions for E3. Like, guarantee you, or we'll do something. I'll drink a bottle of uh, Tapatito salsa. I guarantee there'll be no um, Half-Life 3 confirmed. I guarantee no, no Half-Life 3. And if there is a Half-Life 3 trailer, I'll drink a bottle of salsa on the show. That's kind of obvious, though, right? Okay, let's see. Let's see. Okay. That, that's, that's way too obvious. Okay, I'll give you a second one. I'll, I'll give you two in the see. Hmm. Fallout will be confirmed a multiplayer game. Guarantee it. Fallout 76? Yeah. If you say it's Kotaku, so they could be lying, I guarantee it's an uh, MMO. I'll guarantee the two. You guarantee that it's an MMO. Um, uh, game hmm. Consular wants to know, did we miss out E3 talk? Yes, we did, but game... We'll stay out a little bit longer if you want to discuss anything about E3. What do you want to see? What showcase are you looking forward to? Yeah, yeah, we can stay on for a little bit more if folks want to talk about E3. Um, so, yeah, those are my two guarantees. Yeah. If I'm wrong about either one, I'll drink a bottle of salsa. If I'm wrong about two, I'll drink two. So, wait a so, minute, let me see. You'll, you'll drink an entire bottle of salsa. If, so, so right now you're right. guaranteeing... No, no, it's you that Half-Life 3 will not have anything, which is not obvious. And I'll confirm that Fall 76 will be a multiplayer game. All right, you're, you're you're predicting Fallout seventy six is an MMO. Yes. And if it's not, then you'll drink a whole bottle of. Yeah, if it happens to be a single player game or completely something different, I'll drink it. All right, um, let me see here. What 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 what? Why don't you just make an Ace Combat? Make an Ace Combat prediction. I only make an Ace Combat prediction. So, like, say, oh, there'll be no trailer, or there will be a trailer, or there'll be an announcement, or be a delay. Make a prediction. So. I can. I, I'm willing to say they will not announce the cancellation of of uh, Ace Combat Seven. Well, it's kind of hard because they won't just go there and say it's canceled. They'll just make a news of presence. Yeah, I guess that's so, true. So, will there be Ace Combat news? Yes or no? Will there be Ace Combat news? Um, I'm going to say yes. Okay, so if there isn't any Ace Combat news, do you have to drink a bottle of your choice of salsa? Bottle of my choice of salsa. Yeah, whatever you want. I'll probably do a tap of tea or something. I'll just chug it. But you know okay. me, I'll have spicy food, so Brittany has to take care of me later. Don't tell him that. <laughs> Alrighty. I don't know what I don't know what it is with you and like us punishing ourselves with like like burning stuff. I told you you come down here. I know a spot we can go and we'll do the uh, zombie burrito challenge. The Being zombie here. burrito challenge. So, I would I, do I, that. I would do the zombie about burrito this challenge. Big full of, uh, it has hot Cheetos, which is a hot, but it also has um, ghost pepper extracts and a few other super spicy pepper extracts. And it's yeah. just great. We gotta do it hungry. But if you come down here, we'll we'll do it together. Come down to LA. My goodness, my goodness. And I'm Lisa to take care of us. Well, Sonia, Faze, game consolers, my friend. Thank you, folks, for chilling out with us in the chat and saying hi. We always like seeing you. Um, we know and that, next uh, week we'll have all the either coverage. When's the last day? Oh man, I'm so excited! So, so like Tuesday, oh Tuesday morning is the last one, so we can do it either 
Matthew, you catch up Wednesday. Go on. Yeah, I'm. I'm. Maybe we do Wednesday. Maybe we do Thursday. Yeah, we could do that. Yeah, so we get a chance to collect all the information because I don't feel like being rushed. Absolutely. And folks, you know, don't feel bad if ever you come into a live show or you miss the live show. Um, you can always rewind and you can catch us on YouTube uh, anytime you want at your at your leisure. Um, feel free to share it with your with your friends. Um, we're going to um, uh, in about sometime between today and tomorrow, we're going to post a lot of those things that we talked about down the doodly do. Uh, Brian Deckert, I think, is the name um, is the uh, is the 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 uh, male actor that plays uh, Connor. And so uh, I'll be providing a link to his Twitter uh, and to his Twitch streams there. And uh, definitely tune in. Maybe you can win some some prizes and stuff. It is eerie, like how, I mean, just how perfect they captured the, uh, you know, Connor. Like when he's walking around and talking and everything, um, I, I had a little bit of tr trouble, you know, uh, separating the, the 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 game from him being there real. Like that's how good they did with this stuff. So um, it's really cool to see him so psyched up about the game. Um, but it's got to be bizarre. Like Jeremy, could you imagine playing a game with a perfectly recreated digital version of yourself? That's kind of scary. Yeah, that'd be kind of weird. I want to see that. <laughs> Perfectly naked, just saying. <laughs> to the ladies. So, all right, folks, you can check us out next week. We'll be talking about E3. And uh, in the meantime, if you're going to E3, hit us up in the chat. Let us know yeah. while you're there what you think of it. Send us Maybe pictures, send, us send your thoughts. We'll share all that stuff on next Yeah, week. if you send us pictures of you at E3, right? Maybe hanging out at a booth or hanging out with somebody, you know, one of your favorite you're developers. Send us tickets. I'm not working next week. <laughs> if you want to send Jeremy tickets. Remember, I, know, I live 25 miles from L.A., so it's, you know, yeah. I'm right there. Let us know. Drop drop us a message down in the doodly do. We'll share whatever you share with us next week. And if you're so. Chris's supervisor, let him take a day off so we can go to E3 for the week. <laughs> All right. Folks. Say that. <laughs> folks, we'll see you next week. Good night.